fill us up, Lord. God, Lord, I pray, send your spirit down, Lord, and move in our hearts, move in our minds, move in our spirit, Lord. God, Lord, let us not be the same, but let us be changed every day, Lord. Yes. Filled up with you, Lord. Filled up with your glory and your power in our lives, Lord. Lord, we can never get enough of you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Turn to the book of Psalms. Right there, the very first Psalms is where we're going to go to tonight. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for the presence of the Lord. Amen. And thankful for his Holy Spirit. He quickens us. He gives us the word. Amen. And I'm thankful for his word tonight. And I encourage you. This is just the beginning of a new year. And I encourage you to take God for his word. Amen. And that means spend some time in God's word every day. And, and make it a challenge, you know. We need uh, new challenges in our lives, you know. We can, we can think of new things that we want to do for the new year. But the main thing I truly believe, if you have a close walk with the Lord in the Word of God, your relationship with Jesus is going to be sweet. And, and you're going you're gonna to see new revelation and you're going to see some things happen in your life when you have a constant abiding in the Word. Amen? Yes. So spend time in the Word. This isn't just for Sundays. It's not just for Wednesday nights. Uh, no, it's every day. Amen? Every day with Jesus. 24-7. I want to have that relationship with the Lord. And we need God's Word. And we need to know the Word of God. I was kind of challenged the other day. Someone was kind of putting trivia, Bible trivia on Facebook. And, and I, you know, it really will come to let us see the light of what we really know of God's Word. And I, I want you to know you can't get enough of God's Word. Amen? God's Word will become real to you, and He will show you new things. How, well, how do I know that? Because He has done that in my life. Amen? And it is true because this word is not dead. It is alive. Hallelujah. Aren't you thankful for, for the word of God? It's alive. Hallelujah. And I'm thankful, praise God, that I can lift my hands and I can give him glory tonight that he's given me the word. Hallelujah. Come on. Give him the praise. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. We magnify you, Lord, for the word of the Lord. Let it come alive in our hearts uh, and let it burn in our hearts hearts today, God. I pray, Lord, that we would see, Lord, the hour that we are in, and God, that we would take the word of God, and we would find good ground, Lord, and it would be rooted and grounded in our lives tonight, Lord Jesus. Lord, we have a lot to be thankful for, and Lord, the main thing is that we can carry this word wherever we go, Lord, and we can have it in our heart. Oh, God, give us a hunger, Lord, for more of you in 2020. Lord God, let us not stray away. Lord, let us not slack. But God, let us hold up uh, the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ uh, and let us hold uh, forth to the word of God. Lord, not compromising the word, but God declaring your word that it is true and it is life. Hallelujah. And it will break down the strongholds of the enemy. Yeah. We thank you for it, Lord. I pray that you would use me tonight. Hide me behind the cross of Calvary. I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, and everyone say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. This psalm says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law doth he meditate day and night. I want you to focus on that one. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, and bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly 
shall perish. Oh, what a powerful psalms that we can stand by tonight and that we can know, you know, this is really a, a contrast between the saint and the sinner. Amen. There should be a difference in your life if you call yourself a Christian. Amen. If you call yourself a child of God, there are things that you are not going to do anymore that uh, there's going to be places that you don't find yourself in and there's going to be things that you find yourself delighting yourself in, which is the Word of God. Hallelujah. I am thankful tonight that I can look unto my God. And, you know, this really is a, a prayer or a psalms that we can take with us into the new year. Amen. Because we all need a closer walk with Jesus. Amen. I believe tonight that even we, you know, standing here and we lift up our hands and we begin to praise the Lord and, you know, we sing these songs to glorify the Lord and we're thinking of all the things that God has done. Well, I want you to know God is looking for His people that they would make a difference and that they would take a stand against the evil and that they would live a life holy unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. God is looking for that in each and every one of our lives. And I want you to know if you are a child of God, there are things that God is looking out of your life that He is wanting you to go forward, that He's wanting you to take the next step and to say, Hey God, I'm looking for more in my life. I want to have more of your blessings. Uh, I want to have more of your favor in 2020. Uh, I want to know more of your word. I want to spend some time in prayer and believe God for the impossible. Come on, we're, we're living in a time where we can see that there are all kinds of troubles and there are all kinds of situations around us and the only way that we're going to get through them is when we lean on the Lord. Amen. We've got to know that God is our source. And that we've got to put our trust in the Lord. If there's one thing I want people to know, that I am a child of God. As I said here this morning, I want to be example. I want you to be example. And when we are all examples of the Word of God, there's going to be a change. Amen? There's not only going to be a change in you, but there's going to be a change in your family. There's going to be a change in your community. There's going to be a change in your church. Why? Because you're allowing the power of His presence. You're allowing His Word to do a work in your life. Amen? Amen. Yes. You're allowing His Word to do a work in your life. It says blessings are upon the head of the just. But the, but the violence covers the mouth of the wicked. And there's one thing, as I said here today, I want the mighty hand of God to be upon my life. And I know how quickly the tables can turn when we think that we can go and we can do whatever we please or whatever we feel. I want you to know we're kind of living in that world today where we think that we can do whatever we please. And I want you to know it's even coming into the church. That's why that we've got to raise up a standard. We've got to say, hey, I'm not going to give in to the things of this world and those that are surrounded. I know we've got to go to our jobs. We've got to hang around, you know, some people that might not have the love of Jesus in their heart. Amen. Can I get an amen on that one? They, they just don't have it. That's why you're there. That's why you're there to show them the way. Amen. Now, I should really get an amen on that one. You're there to show them that you're not wanting to, to just go into the way as it says here. It says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. I don't want to take my instructions to those that are living their life full of sin and living their life full of the devil. No, I want to follow the Lord. I want to follow His commandments. I want to trust in the Savior tonight and know that He will give me the power to overcome. Yes. And we got to do that in love. Amen. We're not going to just, you know, hammer people and, you know, we got to show them the love of God. We've got to allow them to know, hey, there's a better way. 
Amen. God has given us a better way that we can walk therein and we can receive of those blessings. Uh, and then when those blessings come down upon us, I want you to know others see that in our lives. Come on, we enjoy the blessings of the Lord. I want you to know things can, I was just thinking of that today, how quickly things can change. And how things can go the opposite direction. Every time that you wake up and you got a job to go to and you got food on your table and your bills are paid and you can come into the house of the Lord and you've got health in your body, you better give Him the praise. Because we all know that that's in the Lord's hands here. We all know that we're looking to God and we're looking for His favor. It says in Proverbs 16, 25, The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. See, there is a contrast between the two. Amen. That's what we got to get across uh, to those around us. That, hey, I am living a life for Jesus Christ. Uh, I, yes, I once was a sinner. I once was bound by sin. Uh, the devil had me bound. But praise God, I've been set free. Uh, I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old things are passed away. Behold, he makes everything new. Amen. Hallelujah. I want those blessings to be on my life. And as the scripture says, if you, you can think and you can look out into the world and think they got all the blessings, but I want you to know if they don't have God, they don't have nothing. And <clears throat> that's what I was trying to get across to the, the, the boys today. I wanted the, them to realize that yes, there's all kinds of things that, and I, I was trying to share with them, you know, going to school. I can't imagine today. I can think of what it was like when I went to school. I can't imagine today what it's like. Come on, we're, we're talking about things that I never had to deal with when I went to school. We've got, we've got people that think it's okay to teach our children that it's okay to, to love the, the same sex. Uh, it's okay to go out and do this and to do that. I want you to know my Bible tells me different. Uh, and I want to tell young children. Uh, I want to tell the teenagers. Uh, I want to tell young people, my son back there, that hey, if you don't have God and if you don't look to to God, you're going to be in trouble. God is our help and He's the one that's going to bless us. He's the one that His favor is going to rest upon us. And I want to delight in Him. He's given us the Word of God. Oh, thank God. I really don't think we really need a revelation of how blessed we are that we can have this Word. This word is power and it is life. And I want you to know, just as the scripture said, it is quick and it is powerful and it's sharper than a two-edged sword. When you think you can't fight your battles in the physical, you get out the word of God and you start speaking the word of God in your circumstances. And you will see the devil will have to flee in the name of Jesus. That's why it's so important that we take God's word every day. And I think, you know, I, I saw and I was encouraged at some of the churches, um, you know, one was Tri-State Ministry. They put on their site how just four chapters, basically about four chapters of the Bible is what you need to read to get through the Bible in one year. And I would think, my goodness, that's not so hard but go ahead and try it once. Because see what gets in the head. A lot of other things get become first in our lives instead of God's word. We can get into the hustle and the bustle of, of life and our job and the kids and this and that. But what we've got to realize, if you're too busy for God, I want you to know you're too busy. 
Sometimes we just got to slow down. And I heard that from Pastor Heggie. He goes, if you're too busy, then you're, if you're too busy to pray, you're too busy to read your Bible, then you're too busy. You need to stop and you need to take some time in the Word of God and you need to delight in the law of the Lord. Some people say, well, what's so, what's so big deal about, you know, all following every, you know, going through every little line and every little dot, every I, you know, cross every T. Well, you read this scripture in, in verse 2, it says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and his law doth he meditate day and night. I want you to know we need the word of God in our mind. We can overcome a lot of battleground when we get the word of God in our mind. Because the first place that the devil is going to attack you is in your mind. I was thinking of some that are going through some, some illnesses and facing some, you know, surgeries and, and you know, the, the, the things that, that can bombard us and, you know, the worries, the struggles, you know, this or that. I want you to know when you are faced with those times, it's the Word of God that's going to see you through. When you become overwhelmed, Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Let me have your word in my mind. Let me have it in on my heart. I want you to know there's a lot of things that can go through in this mind. A lot of thoughts. Amen? Amen. A lot of things that we can think on. And I want you to know in the world today, sometimes I wonder where are the minds at? The things that I'm seeing, the things that I am hearing, oh God, bring us back to a revelation of your word. Give us a hunger that if we've got to, as you know, a lot of times dad would say, sometimes you just got to get yourself by the back of the neck and you got to do it. And that's the way sometimes it's got to be. Because you're not always going to feel the goosebumps and feel the glory of the Lord. Hey, can I get an Amen. You're not going to always feel that way. No, we've got to walk by faith. We've got to live this thing out every day and know that it's God that gives us the strength. And God has given us the Word. Thank God for His Word. Now I know we are living in a day where it seems that nobody wants rules and regulations. They want to throw them out. And I'll tell you the main reason why we've come to this is because we have forgotten God and His Word. This is where it has started. And this is why we've got a bunch of people that don't have any common sense and they're trying to run our nation. They're trying to run our states. Uh, they're trying to run our schools. And I want you to know the reason that we are in this place is because we have forgotten His law. That's right. We have forgotten to follow Him. Shannon was telling me, in California somewhere, the, the schools there made it a rule that they cannot suspend or correct any child if they defy a teacher. My goodness, how are you going to keep control of the schools if you don't have any discipline? And I think to myself, my God, what have we turned to? I want you to know, as I said before, it's because we have turned away from God's holy word. Right. That's why we, as believers here tonight, I am encouraging you. I want you to know that when you pick up his word and you begin to read, and I was just telling someone the other day, you might not see all the full effects that it's doing right then and right there, but I want you to know it is doing great and abundant work in your life. Because his word will not return void. It finds good ground. It will find a good place in your heart and in your mind when you allow him to do the work that he wants to do in you. It says that he shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water 
that bringeth forth his fruit in season, and his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Sounds good to me. Sounds mighty good to me. I want to be that tree. I want to stand tall for Jesus Christ. I saw someone, you know, put the, you know, the, the saying, you know, about some of the presidents and Trump, you know, and they showed the difference between the others is that he had a backbone. And, you know, that's sometimes the way it's got to be with we, me, as us as Christians. Uh, we've got to stand tall and we've got to say no to the devil. And we're not going to let him have his way. We're not going to let him rule our lives. But we're going to have power over the enemy tonight. And the way that we're going to have that is when we follow close to him. Delight yourself. In the Lord and continually think on the, the, the word of the Lord every day. You know, as I said before, this isn't just something that we do once in a while. No, God, every day we need to constantly take in the word of God. Why? Because it will come alive in you. And I truly believe that it will bring life to your soul. Not just to your body. Not to just to your physical situation. Because I, you know, I know some of you that read the healing scriptures every day. And you apply them to the need in your body. And I want you to know God sees it. And God is the healer. Hallelujah. And his word will bring healing and life to your body. I believe that tonight. But, you know, we are living in a day where it seems that lawlessness is the new thing. You know, even Shannon was saying in New York, they no longer, if you get arrested, you go in and you get booked or whatever, but then they let you go. You don't go to jail. You get let go, and they and so I think he said they even give you a gift card or or bus fare if you're on the 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 train or whatever it's called the metro whatever down there. You can find money to get home, and they give you all that you need to, to get out of there. And there was one woman that she was punching Jews in the face. Can you imagine that we are living in a time where there seems to be no... I want you to know it goes back to this. That's why we can't allow our children, we can't allow ourselves to fall away from the Word of God. I want you to know there's all kinds of things, and I thank God, I, you know, that some got the, you know, there's all kinds of little wonder Bible, and, and you can get it on your phone, and it'll talk to you. It'll read to you, and you can hear the Word of God. I want you to know there's no excuse why we can't spend some time meditating on the things of the Lord. Amen. Allowing His Word, as Paul declared in 1 Timothy, says, he says, meditate upon these things and give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. This is why we are living in a nation that doesn't want to hear the truth and, and, and really they, they plug their ears to it. And this is a sign to us that we can't allow ourselves to become in that form or that fashion. No, we are going to allow the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit to come alive in us. Because I want you to know when you begin to pray and, and in the Psalms, he prayed and he said, Lord, I want to meditate on your word. I, I want to be like that tree planted by the water. I want you to know we need that have the rivers, those spiritual rivers flowing inside of us uh, and they will come forth in our lives when we spend time in presence with the King. Amen. When we allow Him to take full access of our lives. Those spiritual rivers, those times of blessings. And I say, Lord, I want more in 2020 than I had in 2019. 
I want to hunger more for the glory of God. I want you to know, as I've said before, you can have just as much of God as you want. You can be filled up with His Spirit as much as you want. But it's up to you. It's in your court. You've got to allow His Word. You've got to spend some time believing and praying and let this be your motto for the new year. We need to have some trees that are planted by the river. Hallelujah. We need to be that river, that, that tree that will go forth uh, and will spread its branches out and will share the good news of Jesus Christ and let someone know where they need to be in Christ. God is wanting to do that in our lives. God is wanting us to have those spiritual rivers flowing inside of us. And I know there are times where, you know, our plate can be full. And, and you know, we think that we get weighed down with the cares of this life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Sometimes they weigh us down. But that's why the Word of God becomes real to us. And we allow His presence to take full access in our lives. We say, Lord, I want more of You. I want the fire and the fire of God flowing inside of me. And I want to take in those rivers in my life. As it says here, it says that the, by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth His fruit. That means there's going to be fruit coming out of your life. Amen. That means God wants to take you deeper in 2020. He doesn't want you just to stay on the surface. Uh, he doesn't want you just to go back to your old ways. No, He wants you to be rooted and grounded in love and in the power of the Holy Ghost. But isn't it something that old devil, he comes up and he, he, he tells those lies and he brings those lies into our mind and into our ears. That's why you need God's Word. You've got to use the Word of God against the enemy. You've got to tell that old devil, I'm not giving you a foothold. I'm not allowing you to take control. I'm going to use the Word of God just as Jesus did in the wilderness. Isn't it something I was just reading in the Scriptures? He didn't try just once or twice. No, three times he came to him trying to get him. He didn't give up on the first time. And I want you to know he's not going to give up on you on the first time. He's going to try to bring you down. He's going to try to bring me down. But hallelujah, I'm going to meditate on the Word of God. I'm going to be that tree planted by the rivers. Hallelujah. I'm going to let the glory flow. Hallelujah. I'm going to let the Spirit of God be alive in my heart and in my mind. And I want it to work through you too. Let His Spirit, as it says in Isaiah 48, 18, Oh, that thou had hearkened to my commandments. Then had thy peace been a, us a river and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. I think that paints a beautiful picture of how God wants to send waves of His glory, waves of His peace. Ways of His Spirit into our lives. When we look to Him and His righteousness. When we allow His Spirit to take full control in our lives. When we allow His presence to come in. And then one day as I read today, you know, what it said, Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man open up, see it's open to us. It's open to you. It's open to me. We've got to know that He is wanting to sup with us. He's wanting for us to feast at His table. He's wanting us to come and to have presence, to, to allow His presence to come afresh and anew in our lives. And then it says that we can receive of those blessings and it even talks about He will give us a place around his throne hallelujah and as it says here in the scriptures in revelation 22 revelation 22 verse 1 and it says and he showed me a pure river 
a water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and the Lamb. Hallelujah. I want you to know we can have part of that in our lives today when we stay close to Him. We to their needs how I love to read